Transportation and mobility is the essence of urban life. The world is becoming smaller and more reachable with changing technologies and different modes of transport. Better and efficient transport system is now key in sustaining any city. Distributed across three different continents with different cultural contexts, we are discussing airport, how major transport system or public transport system is in New York, London, Hong Kong. The general data about the three cities are as follows. Let's see the mode share distribution across New York City. Mode share distribution of London. Mode share distribution of Hong Kong. Now, comparing the three, Hong Kong has the highest percentage of mode share in public transport. Comparing the journey model split up, in New York, private mode 55%, London, private mode 37%, Hong Kong, public transit 88%. Traffic or congestion is one of the major problems faced worldwide, leading to the wastage of time, energy and resources. There is shift in the usage of private to public transport because of the same. The number of hours wasted while waiting on average by a passenger per year is calculated in hours and in London the time spent waiting in traffic is the highest. Now let's take a look at the public transport with the classic example of rail transport and how and when they evolved. The rail transit of New York is popularly called as subway. Subway is the largest rapid transit system in the world by number of stations. The London Rail Transit, also known as Tube, is underground railway network system. The Hong Kong Rail Transit is called Mass Transit Railway. It is one of the most successful integrated railway network in the world. It also forms an extensive network. Punctuality of public rail transit is 99% in Hong Kong, which is the highest. The average travel time and the average cost of public transport per trip in the three cities are compared here. It also gives a clearer picture of as of why the integrated public transport is the most favoured mode of transport in Hong Kong. Considering the factor of universal accessibility, 96% of railway stations in Hong Kong are accessible. Let's see how it works with case of London. After considering the factors of cost, accessibility, travel time and efficiency, let's see the public perception and overall satisfaction with the integrated public transport network. To reduce the traffic congestion, travel time and pollution levels, integrated public transport network is the better option. To understand this better, the ratio of cars to 1000 people is compared and while comparing, it is found that New York has the highest ratio while Hong Kong has the lowest. Hong Kong has an efficient integrated transport network system for its people which provides accessibility, affordability, satisfaction. To make the integrated public transportation more sustainable and efficient, New York has adopted strategies to expand the city's sidewalk and to make the public transportation more efficient while London is working on healthy street approach to enhance the walkability and improving the universal accessibility in public transport for its people. Lastly, 
Hong Kong is adopting traffic calming measures and focusing on environmental friendly technology for transit system and to promote low carbon urban development. <laughs>